Sergei Pavlovich is the most feared fighter in the UFC, and that is thanks to his incredibly exhaustive and highly disciplined training regiment, which has resulted in him setting several UFC records. But first, let's see how Sergei got a start in MMA. Number 7. Sergei Pavlovich's Early Life Sergei was born in a small Russian village called Orlovsky Rostov Oblast. As a kid, he wasn't particularly interested in studying, but he got good enough grades so his parents were never upset with him. Instead of studying, his interests were always in sports and athletics. He played basically every sport there was, including basketball, handball, football, and track and field. He was interested in trying out for the basketball team and even made the training camp, but was told by the coach that he wasn't a promising player due to his small stature at the time. Which is kind of ironic as he dwarfs many of his opponents in the octagon nowadays. But that slight from the coach was enough for Sergei to quit basketball. What took up his time after that was wrestling. He wrestled all the way until the 11th grade, but stopped after graduating high school as he entered the Russian Airborne Forces. However, it was there that he honed his MMA craft and seriously thought about fighting for a living. Number 6. How He Started MMA Sergei has said that he's been a fan of MMA since he was a kid. Even at a young age, he was interested in the UFC. Although fight DVDs were hard to come by because of where he lived, it didn't stop him from slowly becoming a fight collector. Over time, he had gathered enough DVDs to learn about the sport of MMA and even have a few favorites like Tank Abbott, Oleg Taktorov, and of course, Fedor Emelianenko. Now, you can't be a Russian fighter and not love Fedor. From the Cabrini Green! Oh! We are pretty sure you will get thrown out of Russia if you didn't. But Sergei first came into contact with the sport through his Greco-Roman coach. He was in kindergarten when he first began wrestling. He recalled that his brothers were the ones who took him to train and brought him back an hour later. And Sergei was thankful for the lessons right away, as he and his brothers often got into fights on the street. It was just something that kids did back in the day, according to Sergei. Sergei's wrestling coach Alexander Fedorovich Elion still teaches at the village, and each time Sergei goes back home, he makes sure to visit his old coach and thank him for the lessons. During his army days, Sergei began to learn more hand-to-hand -hand combat. He already had the wrestling down, so he needed to work on his stand-up in order to develop a complete MMA game. He learned combat sambo in the army along with other hand-to-hand -hand combat skills which came in pretty handy once he left the army and began his MMA career. Number 5. Career Accomplishments Sergei started his professional MMA career in 2014 under the Fight Nights Global Promotion in Russia. He won all 12 fights with the promotion, with 9 of them ending in the very first round. In fact, Sergei has several sub 1 minute finishes on his record, including a 24 second knockout win. During this run, he got his hands on the FNG heavyweight title and defended it successfully before relinquishing the belt to pursue his MMA dream of becoming a UFC champion. Although his UFC career started off rocky, losing his debut and tasting defeat for the first time in his career, since then, Sergei has won six straight fights, all via knockout or TKO. In doing so, he has won four performance of the night bonuses, finished two opponents in less than a minute, and set several UFC records. These records include the longest first round knockout win streak in UFC history with six, tied for the second longest knockout win streak in UFC history, most knockdowns per 15 minutes in UFC history, and second highest number of significant strikes landed per minute in UFC history. During this run, Sergei has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the heaviest hitters in the heavyweight division, including the Black Beast, Derek Lewis, and tied to Ivasa, and finished both guys in about 55 seconds. So it is safe to say that if this Russian monster so much as touches your chin, you're going out. Maybe that's why he's one of the most feared opponents in the game right now and has climbed all the way to the number one contender spot in the heavyweight division. As Sergei has climbed up the UFC rankings, his paychecks have also risen. Number 4. MMA Paydays As we mentioned earlier, things didn't start off well for Sergei. Not only did he lose his UFC debut, but lost half of his paycheck as well, 
and earned only $13,500 for his very first fight. But things changed quickly as Sergei netted over $70,000 for his very next fight, which included a $50,000 bonus for knocking out Marcelo Gol. After which, Sergei's fortunes dropped back down to about $30,000 as he wasn't able to secure a bonus for TKOing Maurice Green. But he did win another $50,000 bonus for his next fight, which ended in the first round as he KO'd Sergei Shamil Abdurakimov. All in all, he earned just over $100,000 for his performance. Now against Derek Lewis, Sergei was robbed of a performance of the night bonus as many felt the referee stoppage was a little too early. Still, Sergei pocketed nearly $125,000 for his 55-second KO. He finished his next opponent a second quicker and earned $50,000 in the meantime, as there was no disputing the stoppage. With the 50K, Sergei made $235,000 in 54 seconds. And for his most recent performance, Sergei pocketed $465,000, which included a $50,000 performance of the night bonus for knocking out Curtis Blades. Along with his recent string of victories, Sergei's following has also doubled and even tripled in size. Number 3. Social Media The big man is pretty active on Instagram, where he has nearly 235,000 followers. Most of his recent pictures are about his training camp in Miami, Florida, as he prepares to take on Cyril Ghosn in France. You can see Sergei's tough workouts, which include running alongside the beach for cardio and training in the Florida heat. He also posts several pictures of his travels as MMA has brought him all over the world. He is also the ambassador of Olimbet Russia. Although there are a few pictures of him driving around in his nice car, he has said that a car is simply a means of transportation for him. So Sergei doesn't seem like the materialistic type, despite having earned enough to splurge on a few nice things. We reckon he gets that humble nature from his early years growing up in Russia. Speaking of which, let's take a look at what Sergei does in his downtime. Number 2. Outside of Fighting Sergei is someone you might classify as a workaholic, as the man is always training. But when he does take a small break, he enjoys watching movies. His favorites are Troy, Alexander, and Gladiator. A little too cliche for a fighter if you ask us, but he is also into Russian comedies like Prisoner of the Caucasus and Operation Y. Now, apart from movies, he does go out on walks and hikes, and whenever he can make it, he goes back home to Rostov region to visit his family and friends. And there we are sure he gets to try his favorite borscht soup and Olivier salad. But as we said, the man rarely takes time off. He trains twice a day, six days a week. He follows a specific diet and sleep schedule to make sure he recovers on time, and it is during his single day of rest that he goes out for walks as he enjoys greenery and likes to get away from all the noise of a city. With the way that he's been winning recently, we're sure he can afford a couple of nice vacations. Maybe he'll reward himself once he wins that UFC gold belt. Number 1. His Net Worth As far as his net worth is concerned, Sergei seems to mainly rely on his MMA income. It's not quite clear if he has any other business ventures or sponsorships outside of the UFC, as it can be difficult for fighters to secure sponsorships these days, as UFC doesn't allow them to be shown off in the cage. But at the same time, if Sergei gets his hands on the UFC title, we're sure he'll be on billboards in Russia, and plenty of Russian companies will all want to work with him. For now, his net worth is somewhere around the $200,000 mark, as it's only recently that Sergei has started making several hundreds thousands of dollars per fight. The way he has been looking and the ease that he has been finishing some high-level fighters, we expect he'll be earning nicely in time to come. Now if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. With that being said, you just watched us break down Sergei Pavlovich's incredible story and lifestyle. We will see you next time.